Hello, boys and girls. This is Miss Johnson, and I would like to read another story to you today. Our story is called From Here to Infinity. The word infinity means never ending, continuous. Our artist today is Sama Yori, a Japanese artist. Here is a picture of our artist wearing a kimono. A kimono is a dress similar to the one that I am wearing. And if you will notice, her dress has circles or dots on it. The artist loved to use dots in her artwork. Samaya Yori's story was written by Sarah Suzuki and illustrated by Ellen Weinstein. Some of the things that you should know about our guest Japanese artist today is she painted not only on art canvases, pumpkin furniture, and also Louis Vuitton handbags. Some of Yiyori used dots in everything that she drew and illustrated. She dreamed of one day being an artist. She dreamed of being an artist at a very young age. She is an international artist who is highly recognized in the art world. Let's take a look at our artist, Sama Yiyori. Sama Yiyori was born in the country of Japan on the island of Hansu in a town called Matsumoto City. An old palace made of wood and stone overlooked the moat. A moat is a house floating on water. Where swarms swam, the streets were lined with little shops and snow-capped mountains rose in the distance, swallowing up the sun as it went down in the evening. Some of my family owned nurseries where all kinds of flowers and vegetables grew, and workers tended the plants as they matured from seed to sprouts to stalks. But Sama yearned for a different life, far from the countryside. She dreamed about what lay beyond the mountains, in places far beyond Matsuma City. She longed to leave home and see the world. Sama's mother wanted her to stay home and learn old-fashioned manners, how to dress eloquently, eat politely, and find a proper husband. But Sama wanted to be an artist. Every day she went outside with ink and brushes and paper. She drew things she saw and things she imagined. She looked closely at the pebbles that lined the riverbed and at the leaves and stalks of plants. And she drew them as chains of tiny cells that looked like dots. When she was older and studying in art school, her teachers disapproved of her work and they demanded that Sama paint in the traditional, precise Japanese style. She wanted to go where she could live without rules. When she was 28 years old, she packed up her silk kimonos and thousands of drawings and stuffed all the bills into the toes of her shoes. It was her first airplane trip there were only four other passengers, and the weather was stormy, with rain and lightning. The airplane wobbled, and it dipped as it flew into America. In New York City, Sama went to the top of the Empire State Building, the tallest building in a city full of tall buildings. When she looked down, she saw buses and cars and yellow taxis zooming up and down the avenues, and bankers and teachers and artists rushing to work. From up on the 26th floor, they looked like dots, very small dots. She felt very far from her quiet Matosumoto city and her mother rules. Here it seemed anything was possible. Sama set about turning her drawings of dots into paintings. The dollar bills that she had bought to America quickly ran out, and she spent what little money she had left on paints and canvases. She worked day and night. She painted when she was cold. She painted when she was hungry. She painted when she was lonely. 
She turned her dots into sculptures, into soft stuff tubes that cover sofas and chairs and boats. She was devoted to her dots. For her, they were a way of thinking about the world among the stars. As one dot among millions of others, they were a way of thinking about infinity. Sometimes, when she grew frustrated, she visited the Museum of Modern Art. She glazed at the paintings by other artists, and she thought about why and how they were made. She looked at pictures of dancing girls painted by the artist Pablo Picasso, and she looked at pictures of knights, dog knights. This particular painting is by Vincent Van Gogh. And this particular painting is by the artist Salvador Dali. She looked at all the beautiful artwork on the walls and one day imagined it would be her art. Her painting seemed so different from those she saw at the Museum of Modern Art. When she at last was ready to show her work in public, she invited all the friends she had made in New York. When she arrived at the gallery, a crowd was spilling out onto the sidewalk. Her friends lifted her into the air and shouted, Sama, 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 you finally done it. Word about her artwork spread quickly. Her friends told their friends. Newspapers wrote about her work and reporters interviewed her about her dice. Now she began to show them in other cities all over the United States and Europe. Her dots were covering the rural. They appeared in Venice in thousands of dot-shaped mirrors scattered over a big green lawn. They appeared on a pumpkin on a pier, on dresses and t-shirts, on people walking down the street, and in mirrored rooms where glowing dots were reflected and reflected again an infinity of dots. Having visited many countries all over the world, Sama returned home to Japan. The country had changed since she left, with many different artists challenging the old traditional styles as Sama had been doing all along. Here we have the artist painting on her table. She even have a little doggy that has dots or circles on it. The walls, the mirrors, the floor has dots on it. She still lives in Japan, and she continues to paint her dots every day. Our famous artist, Samayi Yori, her book is titled, From Here to Infinity, Continuous and Always. Here's my challenge to you, boys and girls. We're talking about this artist, Samayi Yori, and we know that she loved the, the uh, shape called circle, a geometric shape. She used her circles as dots and she drew various different things. I want you to draw your own kimono. And inside of your kimono, I want you to use your crayons, markers, color pencils, and shade them in different colors. Place dots all over your kimono. This is your assignment. I want you to make a beautiful kimono just like our artist, Sama Yiori. This has been a BES production. My name is Ms. Johnson. Have a wonderful day.